Hey guys, this is Steve Collins with the Collins Group at Keller Williams Schulte getting ready to show you a beautiful house in Rogers Ranch. Take a look at this lovely Sitterly Custom Home. 18343 White Bluff in Gated Rogers Ranch. First thing you notice about this house is the beautiful Spanish exterior stucco styling mixed with the cool stone. They've got great details, beautiful arches and columns, and they carry this theme on the inside of the house. And of course, one of the things that's really nice is having these uh, beautiful front entry areas so that when guests come by, if you've got several people coming at one time, you have a beautiful place to greet them. And you can see the use of the cool stone. Absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful garden area here in the front entryway. Very similar to the Spanish missions. Gorgeous leaded glass front door. Take a look as you enter this house. Wow. First thing you'll notice, very important in Texas, neutral tile throughout all of the main high traffic areas. But immediately you're greeted with the architectural detail of Sitterly Custom Homes, rounded corners, arch, arches, art niches, columns, beautiful architectural style in this house. And directly to the right, a huge formal dining room. Absolutely gorgeous. So uh, this will accommodate your largest tables and even room for your hutches, china cabinets. Once again, the 12 foot high ceilings. Custom plantation shutters. And let's take you over here. Of course, you've got the built-ins. Or the bathroom. Steel tub with tile walls, cultured marble vanity top, and upgraded water and light fixtures. Nice bedroom in the very front of the house. So it actually make a great study as well. If you didn't already have a study, you can see the raised ceiling. Arch top windows give it a nice custom feel. And of course, we've got the actual study in the house. Although in this room, uh, studying is not quite what goes on in here. As for the wonderful weekly poker games and a guy or gal's night out. Beautiful shining wood floors. And this looks out onto a gorgeous alcove on the side of the house. One of two patios that this lovely house has. Looking out this way, you can see the curved edges coming out of the kitchen. A beautiful art niche built into the wall. Lovely living space. The high ceilings in here really create a nice open feeling. Very, very nice. So the alcove out here on the side, a lot of the uh, homes in this neighborhood uh, just have little wooden steps going down. They don't have the actual poured with the concrete, cool stone flooring, or Chico in the backyard. He does not come with the house. <laughs> Beautiful landscaping, as you can see on this side. Absolutely landscape gorgeous. Now, we get to the back of the house, you're also going to notice an extremely private green belt.
I can't, I can't keep you out of this. We've got to get you into the kitchen as quickly as possible. Take a look at that. Lighting up above. Stainless steel appliances. The sellers and owners have said with an acceptable offer, they will absolutely consider leaving the refrigerator since it matches all of the other appliances. Now this is a really nice and unique feature. They actually have skylights here for natural lighting. Gorgeous butler's area. Of course, the granite countertops, which are permanent countertops. Lovely, lovely finish on the cabinets in the kitchen here. And what's nice about this kitchen, obviously, is you have easy access to the formal dining room right there. But uh, whoever's cooking in the double uh, oven, built-in microwave, doing dishes, can actually join in on what's going on in the family room. Very large bar top as well. Tile backsplash. And uh, haven't met anybody that doesn't absolutely love gas cooking. It's a Gen Air gas cooktop, down drafts out of the house. So if it's a little too hot or cold outdoors, you can still grill burgers. Beautiful desk area here. The solid wood top, and of course the glass front doors. Skylights let in the natural light. And a very, very, very large laundry and utility room. Wide open space. Down the hallway, we have the additional bedroom and bath. Again, the cultured marble vanity top, the updated light fixtures, tile walls, steel bathtub, high ceiling. The high ceilings really make a floor plan overall in bedrooms and living areas feel nice because you just, you don't feel claustrophobic. Those are custom plantation shutters that open and close with magnets. And we'll show you that in just a moment. They carry on the cool stone flooring. Who needs to chop a tree down when you can just flip a switch? Have your fireplace. Here's my favorite feature. You've got custom blinds, floor to ceiling windows that let the outside in. Once again, we have the cool stone patio. We've got speakers throughout the house. wrought iron back fence. Now here is uh, the beauty of the privacy of this lot. 
This is a permanent green belt. So it's high on a hill. So that is your view. Sprinkler system, front yard and backyard. So nobody has to stand in the yard watering the grass on those uh, 100 degree summer nights in Texas. Ample space in the backyard, but the privacy here is key. There's a couple of other floor plans in the neighborhood. When you walk out on the back porch, uh, it's a view of about 30 to 40 housetops. And uh, we don't have that here. We have complete privacy. A little arched alcove that takes us into the master. Once again, as you enter the master, you notice the super high ceilings. Plantation shutters that I've opened for demonstration. So uh, when you get up in the morning, you don't have to worry about 50 houses looking in your backyard. Absolutely gorgeous. And you may or may not be able to see a ridge way back there. Pretty tall ridge in the back. Plantation shutters, custom built specifically for these windows. Adjustable up or down for the light or total privacy. All right, now we come into master bathroom. Once again, the super high ceilings. You can see something really nice over here. We actually have separate vanities. And they carry the granite countertops on the sinks. Huge, huge, huge walk-in closets with some nice windows built in the back. Has anybody ever put on a brown sock and a black sock in the closet in the morning? A lot easier to not do that with those windows. You have a private water closet with its own door. Beautiful cabinetry, seating area in the shower, and dual heads. A large, large, large walk-in shower. Of course, tile on the floors carries out. So for all intents and purposes, everything that you've seen here today is a one-story home. And the only thing that can make a one-story home better would be a man cave with a kind of a hidden door. So we're going to come into our man cave here and uh, take a look at what we've got. Got a little stairway with a landing and our secret bonus room. Now what you can't see in this house is that the owners selected something called cool ply or tech shield roof decking in the attic that keeps the attic about 40 degrees cooler than normal plywood. So the utility bills are gonna be lower. There's a separate air conditioning unit for this room. So you've got an AC for the entire downstairs and an AC for the man cave. Once again, the use of skylights, pretty neat. That's kind of a cool feature, having the curved ceiling like that. And the homeowner uses this 
as an office. So complete privacy from everything downstairs. Okay, folks, that wraps up the tour of this lovely Sitterly home in Rogers Ranch. If you'd like a personal tour, I'd be happy to give you one. Just give me a call at the number that you see on the screen, and I'll be happy to take you through this house myself. Thanks. Have a great day. God bless.